Hey Jim, thank you. Answers about the new stay home work safe orders for Austin and Travis County. The current local order, superseded by the governor's latest orders, expires Friday. Austin Mayor Steve Adler joins us now live to talk about the local orders that are in effect. Mayor Adler, thanks for being here. The city says that the current local order is being extended with some modifications to comply with the statewide order. Uh, but it also says that the mandated use of face coverings, for example, will continue. That's not included in the governor's order. Uh, how do you hope to get people to comply with that then? Well, we we have to say uh, consistent with the, with the governor's order. He had a stay-at-home order. He had an exception to that for essential businesses. His last order added another exception to that general rule for uh, reopened businesses. But he maintained that general rule at the state level. People should still stay home when they can. They should avoid large gatherings. They should spend most of their time with their family unit. We're doing that same thing. We're adding that same exception to our general rule for reopening businesses and with respect to face coverings I was a little confused by the governor he said everyone should keep doing it the lieutenant governor said everybody should keep doing it but he did say that cities and counties could no longer enforce a mandatory face covering with criminal and civil penalties so I'm going to take out the criminal and civil penalties I still am going to call it mandatory because every public health, health official says we need to do it and the penalty now for somebody who doesn't wear their face covering is that more people will get the infection and some of those people will die. And that's the penalty. That's the real world penalty. And I hope that it gets the people here in our city to be making the right choice. And so that kind of speaks to what you mentioned last week about setting a higher community standard, at least for Austin, even if it's not enforceable. Can you give us maybe some other examples of things that aren't required of us uh, by the governor's order, but that you're hoping we are still doing here locally? Well, um, you know, we have certain, certain, certain rules we have on construction sites and the like that go beyond what the governor said, but there's nothing in the governor's order that says we can't do those things. We're going to do as many things as we can to, to get everybody to social distance, to, to wash their hands. We're, we're going to make it hopefully easier for people to, to trace contacts. Uh, by making sure that we know who it was that, that was in a restaurant in a certain day uh, so that if someone was infected in there, we can let everybody know that they may have come close to it. You know, in San Antonio right now, I'm told that about 90, 95 percent of the people are wearing face coverings everywhere. Uh, we need to do that, too, here in Austin. This virus is, 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 is just as threatening uh, today as it, as, it, as it was a month ago. We are not out of the woods yet by any stretch of the imagination. If we want this toe dip that the governor has brought us into with reopening businesses a little bit, if we want that to work, then everybody should be wearing face coverings everywhere they go. Because if we don't do that kind of thing, we're going to see that surge come back, just like we had talked about uh, six weeks ago. And then we're going to have to shut things down again. Our chance to avoid that is to is to is to religiously use face coverings, six foot distancing, avoid large groups, stay at home when you can. And Mayor Adler, real quick, we did want to ask, yesterday we saw so many people out on Lady Bird Lake. We were getting pictures into the newsroom. There's a lot of confusion about whether people can be out and about in, in the spillway by Barton Springs. Um, if people have questions about what they can and can't do, what advice do you have for them? Well, we have a frequently asked questions on the City of Austin website right now, and I urge everybody to go to that because it answers a lot of questions. Just like the governor, uh, our, our local order is going to say avoid social gatherings. Uh, you know, the governor said you could go to a park and engage in a sport with, with no more than, than, than four other people, and it can't be a contact sport. What I saw this weekend concerned me no end because it's going to lead to more infections, it's going to lead to a spike, and then we're going to have to undo these, these, these beginnings of, of openings that we're trying to create. I want the governor's plan to be successful, and the only way it's going to be successful is if we show the discipline that we need. Face coverings, small groups, stay at home when you can. We're gonna be here for a while. We're all navigating this together. Austin Mayor Steve Adler, thank you so much for joining us this afternoon.
Confused about COVID-19 testing? A new guide for Texas doctors breaks down the type of test. All right, everyone. Will Dupree once again in the KXA and live studio. That was an interview with Mayor Steve Adler joining us and getting some questions there from our anchor Cindy Benter during the six o'clock newscast. Just within the past few minutes, we did get an update case number count for Travis County. If you want to take a look really quickly, we now have had 1,816 confirmed positive cases of COVID-19 in Travis County. Another death to report today. 53 people have now been killed by the disease caused by the novel coronavirus. Additionally, we now have seen 542 people recover from a positive diagnosis of the virus. And then we've also seen another person join the others who are now hospitalized, 85 people in total, 33 now in the ICU, 17 people requiring ventilators in their hospital stays. So that's where we stand right now in Travis County here with the COVID-19 numbers. Mayor Steve Adler will be signing a new stay-at-home order, as he said just a few moments ago. It will still require face masks for people here in our community, but there will be no civil or criminal penalties for doing so. Instead, what he's saying that it's enforceable because otherwise you could lead someone, um, get someone sick, and then that could potentially seriously hurt them or even lead to their death. And he said he hopes that that will maybe weigh on people enough that they will wear face masks when they go out in public to the grocery store to get gas to do those other kinds of essential activities like that. We want to say thank you all for joining us. We're going to post more information on our website kxan.com and the KXAN News app. We hope you'll go over there and find some more in-depth reporting because we've been trying as hard as we can to cover so many sides of this and it's all on our website. Thank you again for watching. I'm Will Dupree in the KXAN Live Studio. We do appreciate you watching. We'll see you back here another time. Everyone, please stay safe and healthy and if at all possible, still at home. Thanks again.